outstanding white cards in Magic the Gathering. How's it going guys? It's Kelly here, aka the Flicker Guy. I'm just back here talking about some more uh, Dungeons and Dragons magic sets. Uh, we want to talk about those outstanding white cards, right? So I just wanted to mention a couple, not, maybe not the best cards in the set, but definitely white against some improved cards. And I just look forward to just seeing what's going to come of them. So with the set coming out at the end of the week on the 23rd, um, that's Friday. We'll be seeing a lot of packs, a lot of packs cracked, and a lot of booster boxes opened. And uh, yeah, see what what other things people can put together and see what they're interested in. Um, but for me, I'm excited about the white card. So we're gonna start with Dancing Sword. It's one colorless and a white mana. Um, it's an artifact equipment with uh, creatures get plus two plus one when equipped. When equipped a creature dies, you may have Dancing Sword become a two one construct artifact creature with flying and warp one. If you do it, it isn't an equipment. It's an equip one. Pretty dope card. Really interesting. It's an equipment and a creature. So if you kill it and uh, let's say it's just sitting out there, you turn it into a creature and then you still can do damage. So even if they're killing your creature, you still got power. So let's imagine it with Sword of Hearth and Home and Sword of Truth and Justice. Could you imagine a sword wielding two swords going ham together? So I love to see that battle happen. It should be pretty interesting. I think it's really cool for concept, really cool for just the visual aspect. And yeah, it kind of gives you a secondary way to kind of do some damage on the field. Next up, we're gonna go with Master of Flowers. So with Grand Master of Flowers, this guy's a legendary planeswalker. And actually, we're gonna call him Bahamut. Um, so he's a guy that's in disguise and he is a dragon. That is freaking amazing. I love dragons. I love planeswalkers. I think it's a great concept together. Um, he's two colors and two white. Um, as long as Grandmaster Flower has seven or more loyalty counters on him, he's a 7-7 seven, seven dragon. God creature with flying and indestructible. His plus one is a target creature without first strike, double strike, or vengeance can attack or are blocked until your next turn. And his other one is search a library for... Uh, search a library and graveyard for a card named Monk of the Open Hand, reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search a library this way, shuffle. Great way to shuffle, great way to grab grab more and more uh, plus one counters on him. Um, he is a three starter and once he gets to that seven, he's a creature. He's indestructible and he cannot lose his loyalty. So that makes him really dope for a fighter and keeping him on the field. So Master of Flowers, I see you homie. I mean, look at it, it's a freaking dragon. That's awesome. So he's going to be a cool one to have on the field. And when he turns to the dragon, please beware. It's going to be nasty. And then for my final card and my last go pick for this set of Forgotten Realms Magic the Gathering, Teleportation Circle. This is a card of my heart. It is a flicker card. It is three colors and one white. An enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, exile it to one target artifact or creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. That is amazing. Conjurer's Closet in white. One CMC less and just as cool. So I am happy about this one. This will be my go-to card for a lot of my decks that have white in it. Probably to go right alongside Conjurer's Closet to work it together. So we are going to be flickering all night. So guys, I hope y'all are, are as excited as I am about this. Like I said, I just wanted to pick out three cards that I found to be outstanding. This is just my opinion. There's way many cards in the set that are way better. But I love these. And I think that's one of the parts that make Magic great. Is people being able to make what they want and enjoy it. So definitely take your time. Look into the sets, see what makes you excited, see what makes you tick, and put together something that's going to be exciting and, and joyous. Um, yeah, so I love to see some of you guys at the uh, release of this set and maybe get some games in in Commander. But until then, you know how it goes. Black Magic Commander is here, and we are here to stay. And look forward to some more content. Please like, sub, and subscribe. Um, and hit that ring bell, hit that notification bell. And yeah. Look forward to seeing you next time. The Gathering is in the Black.